Eiffel. London. London. This is James Helder for iFilm London. With me, I have undefeated prospect Billy Morgan. How are you doing, Bill? Very well, thank you. Very well. Yes, um, just watched your fight. Looking good, mate? Yeah, I felt good in there. You know, first six rounder. So I got the first, I got six rounds under my belt. First round, given another 10, 20 seconds, I would have knocked him out. Uh, so. Did you think it was going to be over in that first round? Yeah, and then the bell went. You know, I hurt him with a, with a cracking right hand. His legs went. Uh, pounded him in the body, head, and then the bell went. Uh, I could see the referee just creeping over my shoulder about to jump in. So I'd have had another 10 seconds and it would have been over. Second round hurt him, third round hurt him, but he was holding on, so I give him credit. He held Don't only give him a credit, he's quite a durable guy. He come out, come out to go the distance, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, well, all week he's been saying he's going to come and fight me, he wasn't going to come and run. For the first, first round he did come to, to run. But he came out the last two rounds and pushed me back. I was trying to counter him and I got a little bit flustered. I was trying to put too much emphasis on the right hand, but... I gave him his credit, I said to him just now, I said he's a lot better than his record speaks and he will change his record around. How did you feel at the end of the sixth round? Did you feel you could go on a bit further? Was, was you feeling good? Yeah, yeah, Jimmy said to me in the fifth round, how did you feel? I felt like I just started the fight, to be honest with you, but I was trying to change the tactics and in doing the, in doing the process, I couldn't get myself set. So I was fit and uh, I felt fit and I felt I could have done another four, four or five rounds easily. Your cool crowd obviously love you, Bill, being local lad, you know what I mean? Is, how, does, how does it feel to walk out to such good support? Amazing, mate. I love this place so much, you know. Um, I do. I would like to box at a bigger venue to get the experience, but I can't beat boxing at your call. You know, I bought 200 fans in tonight and I could hear him all through the fight, and this is amazing. The, the atmosphere is unbelievable. Does it feel like someone's coming to like, almost beat you on your home ground kind of thing? Say that again, sir. Does it feel like someone's obviously coming to try, going to try and beat you on your home ground fighting it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had six pro fights here now, so this is my territory, you know. I don't want to. No one's going to come to your call and beat me, trust me. This is my home ground. Definitely, yeah. How are you finding stuff um, working with um, Jimmy Tibbs, Mark Tibbs? How, how are they with you? Oh, they're brilliant trainers, mate. They don't get enough recognition for what they do. They're, they're, mate, you, know, you, you say Freddie Rose is the world's best, but believe me, getting in the gym with, with Jimmy and Mark, Jimmy is so technical, he's got so much experience. Mark's younger, fresh eye, he's got, he's got the knowledge like, of, of the boxing nowadays. He's more scientific with the, with the dietitian, the nutrition, and strength and conditioning. Mark's second to none, you know, no one that is better than Mark. And Jimmy's experience speaks for itself. He's, he's a great trainer, you know. They've, they've turned my boxing around. My first fight, I was only with him for a couple of months, and I come out, come out the um, corner flying, trying to knock him out in first round. Tonight, I relaxed myself, and I caught him with a piece of punch, and he went. So they've changed me around in, in a year's time. It's just amazing. Give, give me another 12 months with them, and I'll be putting them on their ass in, in one round. Safe to say they are proper boxing people and great, great ambassadors for UK boxing, do you know? It's yeah. good to see, it's good to see, as I say, so many prospects and young prospects coming through at the minute and Jimmy and Mark, they seem to be at the helm of it. The stable's buzzing at the minute, you know? We've got Gary Corcoran, Dean Byrne, Frankie Buglioni, Kevin Mitchell, Billy Joe Saunders, myself, uh, Tom Baker's just come aboard. So I think we've got one of the best stables in Britain. Quality sparring in that, in that stable, obviously. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't mention Pete McDonough then. I've been sparring him for this fight. And his experience, he's pushing me back, his strength. I learned so much of a Peter. You know, I was so relaxed there tonight, knowing that I've done six rounds sparring with Peter. Just, just, that, just that experience in the back of my mind, and knowing that I've done six rounds with him. Uh, he's pushed me back, I've pushed him back, and, and he's given me great feedback in sparring. So that, that works for my confidence wonders. Well, Bill, you look really good, mate. Really good. Keep up the good work. And may I say thank you again for taking the time to talk to our film London. Really, really appreciate it. Anytime, thank you. James Holder with Billy Morgan inside York Hall. Thank you very much. Cheers. I feel London. 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 I feel London. London. London.